just seeing everybody and you can go someplace and you run into somebody uh, you can drive for miles and miles and look at farms and that's what Bonnie and I do we'll jump in the car and just drive around the country and uh, of course being at the sale I mean there's no place like the sales in Kentucky. Absolutely, and also, you know, you've owned a couple of Hamiltonian winners. You captured your first Breeders' Crown as an owner in 2017 with Stay Hungry. His first crop is three this year, and he's really done a lot on, on the stallion side of things in the business. Yeah, he's coming. Uh, last year, um, you know, they got better. This year, he's he's really showing up in the big races, and uh, I think he's got a great future ahead of him, and I'm, I'm excited for him. How was your sale week? Uh, I, I think you had like 14, or you had a lot of horses in today, correct? Yes. And then uh, I saw you at the sale almost every day. How was your sale week? Oh, uh, I was visiting at the sale, Jessica. I kept my hands in my <laughs> pocket. No. We bought a few. We uh, saw some that we really liked, and we have a, a group of four of us that tried to stay together, and so we're really happy with what we got. But there was a lot of good horses from, from number one to the last. It was very a deep catalog, as yes. David Reed said, all week. Uh, Trotters, Pacers, Philly Colts, any jurisdiction. It was a very deep catalog. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of disappointment, but, the, you know, the, there was some hard decisions to be made. Absolutely. Uh, one more horse I want to ask you about. That's Ix Academic. He'll race tomorrow in the Alaraj Open Trot. Boy, has he had quite the year this year. He, uh, you know, I credit Ronnie, and, and David's done a great job with him, but Ronnie all last year kept saying this this guy will only be better, only be better. And when he he raced at Yonkers in the international trot and finished third, and he raced big, and he seemed to let, that was to turn the corner. I mean, he didn't win, but he turned the corner and you know finished the year strong and come back this year. And he's he's done a great job. And I mean, you you know you, you got a tough road against them all this time of year. It's it's tough sledding, but uh, he shows up. He really does. I was talking to you a little bit, and I talked to David. Uh, you know, week in and week out after the race. Last year, he was always in the mix. He had bad posts, overcome tough trips, and this year, he's just really had a punch through season. Yeah, yeah, and you know, he he can take the rough going on the outside, and David seems to just sit there with him and you know get dragged along, and then all of a sudden he steps up. So yeah, it, he seems to be able to do it from everywhere. Well, thank you so much, Brad Grant, for joining me on the set. Best of luck today. Best of luck tomorrow. The rest of the season, and of course, next year. Thanks, Jess. We'll send it up to Gabe Pruitt for the call of race number three. The Diamond Creek Farm starting it is moving into position. It's post time for this afternoon's third race.